While I was in Nigeria, I was um, uh, still e extremely keen and kind of want to be wildlife biologist. One of my very favorite, uh, can't call it a pet because it's a wild animal, was the bush baby. But there's many species of bush babies, and this one is the smallest one in the world. It's the smallest primate. It's, it's Demidov's galigo. And uh, a full-grown one could fit into a teacup. So they're just the sweetest little guys, and they've got these sweet little faces. And um, they're arboreal and nocturnal. They've got these big eyes. They just flit around up in the upper canopy. The birds you probably never come to the ground. And a number of these were brought to me, and I would take them out in the evening for exercise. And they would hop around like little, uh, like almost like thistle down. So, boing, 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 on the top of the frame, then the top of the lampshade, then, then to our shoulder, then the top of our head. They seem to like exploring the, the, our heads especially, and looking into our ears and seeing if they could find any insects in this hole here and, and sort of tickling and, and playing around. Well, I noticed after them playing around on us, uh, well, me particularly, I was the main one that did it, I, I felt sort of sticky and it, it wasn't exactly the honey. Uh, and then I realized and looked into their life history a bit. Uh, they're nocturnal and arboreal, as I said, and when they leave their holes in the trees and their little nests way up in the high canopy, in order to find their way back, and they're out hunting for insects, usually, and maybe some fruits across the canopy, and they, they leap from practically leaf, they're so light, leaf to another twig and then a leaf and so on. In order to find their way back, they urinate on their hands and feet, and so they leave a little scent trail, and so they can smell, they can follow their own way back to the in, in, the, in the night to find their hole again. That's why it was sticky.